April, thank you so much. Well, new this morning, one man from the Valley is going to be a contestant on a cooking competition show that premiered last night. Yes, it is called Silo's Baking Competition, and it's going to be as well uh, on Sundays on the Magnolia Network. That's where you can catch it. Also streaming on Max and Discovery+. Plus. This morning, though, we are joined by Thomas Fushi, and even making this more exciting, um, firefighter for more than 20 years and you just took up baking a couple of years ago? Yes, actually less than two years ago. Wow. I, it was just some weird thing. I wanted something new to do uh -huh. and I was like, I'm like either going to like most dads, uh -huh. like buy a smoker and smoke meat. So I'm like, uh, but I wanted to stay hey. inside. So I'm like, let's try baking. Right, and we got to check out your Instagram, Beefcake Baker A Z. Yes. That name alone yeah. should win. <laughs> right. That name alone should win. All right, before we get into yeah. making some of the delicious things that you okay. have in front of us, um, top, can you, what can you share with us about last night? You are the winner. We can say that because it already yes. aired from last night's at least yes. series. Yes. So. Um, Silas Baking Competition, last night was a premiere. Okay. We did two episodes. I was in episode two. Um, I was lucky enough to win. Woohoo! So, uh, valley representation. Yeah. So, and then actually the other finalist was also from the Valley, oh, Julia. Cool. So she nice. was from the surprise, which is really nice. We had a double Arizona cool. finalist in, this, uh, in my episode. And I will also bake in the finale Great. on June 25th. So this is right. the dish you won for last night. That's what got me the W. Okay. Yes. So this is a vanilla lemon uh, cupcake with a blueberry compote on the inside, oh, man. and then it's a vanilla, uh, vanilla Swiss blueberry uh, meringue buttercream on top. Oh my gosh, that that's, sounds so that's, fancy. That's so fancy. It's like you go to the Cordon Bleu for something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Although some of the best chefs come out of firehouses, we know that. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> true, right? so what are you going to make for us? You're using your Filipino roots. I'm familiar with ube since I'm, fami I'm Filipino also. Okay. So tell us what you're going to make here. So one thing we do, I do a lot of cookies. I do a little bit of everything, but I really love cookies. One thing when I started baking, I wanted to start bringing some flavors that I really loved as a child. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's from the Philippines, mm -hmm. and one thing I've always loved is ube. Okay. So we always thought, okay, we've got to make a, an ube cookie, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we started off is we just have our basic dry ingredients. So this is just flour, baking powder, a little bit of salt, get that ready, and then we get our wet ingredients. So it's just butter, sugar, whipped together with your eggs and extract, vanilla, vanilla and ube extract. Okay, and so, ube, just for folks, this is a purple sweet potato, basically, yes, right? Yes, it's a purple sweet potato, purple yam, okay. and that's what it is. It's mm -hmm. kind of like just a sweet potato that we have here in America. It's kind of sweet, really hard to describe, mm -hmm. but it just has this great flavor. Um, it's but. I love it, and it's becoming so popular. Like the Asian community in Phoenix, I've seen it in numerous, numerous whoa, recipes. It's becoming way more mainstream. So, but this is the superstar of the recipe. So we just take these sweet potatoes and we boil them down, mix them with like condensed milk, and then we just make them into this paste. Wow, so that's we, awesome. Yeah, so we'll mix our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. Okay. And then basically, just what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it till it incorporates, right? Mm -hmm. And then ube is not terribly sweet, mm -hmm. so we're going to add some white chocolate chips. Ooh, and that's going to give you more sugar. That's what's going to make it, give it its sweetness. So okay. you just mix this until all the flour is basically mixed together. Sure. And then the thing about this recipe, this is something that you kind of have to plan ahead. Okay. Because this is a soft cookie. Even out of the refrigerator, ah, it's soft. Okay. So we have to refrigerate it for about five to six hours oh, overnight. Okay. That's the dough that you have over there? Side. Yes. Okay. And then once it's refrigerated, we're going to make it into these little dough balls. About okay. two and a half ounces. And then we're going to bake them at 425 okay. for about 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, and, and this is the final this. product, right? The final it's product. just so beautiful. Can I try one? Yes, I'm I know so you excited want one. for this. I'm going to try one too, but one of us has to still talk. Okay, so, what happens now? You won your own episode last night. Yes. You're going to compete mm -hmm. at the end of June for the finale. Yes. And this was already shot in October, so yes. we already know who the winner is, or at least you do. Yes, I do. And that's all he's he like, can say. I tried. I tried getting it out of him. Well, congratulations, first of all, so last night. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. And where can folks find you again on Instagram? So my Instagram is at beefcakebakeraz. And they can order this from you. Yes, you can order it. Just hit me up and, and through a messaging. And Heck yes. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Love it. Congratulations on the win last night. We'll be watching you at the end of June for that finale episode. And go Thomas Fushi. We love it. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you All right, very my much. turn to eat. You talk. All right, so a centuries old mm. tourist site is back open. I've got food in my mouth. Excuse me. <laughs> After some major renovations,